The next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to populate your modules. There's two different ways that we can populate a module, and I'm going to show you both of them. First thing we're going to do, though, is go through how to create the module in the first place, just as a reminder. First thing we're going to do is click on this red Add Module. We're going to name the module, make sure it's something valuable. Module 1 without the extra information after it, or something like Module A really isn't helpful for our students. We want to describe what's in that module, so we want to make it something good. So in my case, this is going to be a practice module that describes what's going on in there. We're going to then click Add Module. And every time we add a module, it goes all the way down at the bottom. What I like to do a lot of times ahead of time is click Publish. However, you don't have to click Publish. If you don't want your students to see it, we can still add things to it as we go. The first way to add things to the module I used when I was creating this course was to simply add in the um, materials and they would be blank and then I'll fill them in later. So to do that, what we do is we click the plus sign here. We're going to click if we want an assignment. As you can see, we can have any of our different tools. So let's start with content page. We want to have content page and we click on new content page, new page, and we're going to name it. And I'm going to stop clicking two fingers. We're going to name it new content page. And when we click add item, you can see that that new content page has been added unpublished. We can do the same thing with quizzes and assignments. And then we add the item and then we have them in there. They're already in our module. And what we can then do is once we've organized our module and almost like a outline format, we can go into the individual materials and add in our content then. What you can also do is if you have pre-made content, so you've made your pages, you've made your quizzes, you've made your discussions, you can go in and add those completed. So again, we're going to click Add, and let's say we want to add a page. We made a content page. I've got a whole bunch of content pages, so I find the one that I want to put in there, and it's going to be our welcome page, and I'm going to add the item. And that item is now added in there. Because it's published elsewhere, it's going to show up published here. Same thing. We do the same if we want a quiz. I'll add a quiz. I only have my practice quiz in here, and that's the one I want to add, so I add the item. So now I have a module created. I have new blank content in here, but I also have content that's already been created. So you can do it those two ways. If you have any questions, let me know.